So we're going to be talking about squares because in our next video they're going to help us solve some triangle problems. So a square is basically like it's written like this and it's basically the number times itself. So right here we have x squared. So that's just x times x. So we're going to do some examples where we're just going to write out this square and find out what it equals. So 11 squared is just saying 11 times 11 equals what? And 11 times 11 is equal to 121. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 2.3 times 2.3 oh. 5.29 6 times 6 equals 36 and when we have a fraction like we do right here you square the top and square the bottom so you get 1 times 1 over 2 times 2 the top equals 1 the bottom equals 4 so that's what you do when you square a number now to undo a square you take the square root of a number. So when you take the square root of a number, you, you're you finding what number of times, no, you're finding what number times itself equals the square. So for x squared, we know if we took the square root of x squared, since we know that it's x times x. When we take the square root of it, we just have x. A square root is how you undo a squared function. So now we're going to do some examples. The square root of 121. Well, this is just saying the square root of 11 11 times 11. So when you take the square root, you get rid of one of those 11s and you just get 111. Because this is saying if I squared 11, I would get 121, which is true. So this one's pretty easy. What times what equals 100? 10 times 10. So you get 10. Now, just like we square the top and the bottom of a fraction, we're going to take the square root of the top and bottom separately. So, what times itself gives me 4? Well, 2 times itself gives me 4. And what times itself gives me 5? Five? 5. So, the answer is 2 fifths. The square root of 9 is just, 9 is just 3 times 3, and that gives us 3. 16, 4 times 4, and then 1 over 9, since the square root of 9 is 3, and we know that the square root of 1 is 1, it's just 1 third. So, when you raise a number to the second degree, you're saying x squared. And when we want to undo that squared, we take the square root and we go back to the original number. So this is going to help us with triangles and solving sides of triangles in our next video. So make sure you come back and watch that.